Well, we're only out on the bloody Duke. The sun's only out. It's a gorgeous day. It is 20 degrees today. It's unheard of. It's, it seems like we've moved to southern Spain compared to the weather we've been having. But I'm out on the Duke. We're going to do some proper little tests on my new baby now with all the mods. But I'm actually going to meet someone who's got a Super Duke 2 so we can have a look at the differences. It may be someone you're familiar with. I suspect it is. Can't beat those wheelies. You've got your electronics off now, wheelie control off. Uh, in, um, if you put it in, uh, this is different, so in track mode. Track mode with it. It's wheelie, but it's still got track mode. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's the letdown let down of this. It's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a dongle. So uh, yeah, I'm quite keen to see what the two's like. The one I borrowed from KTM last year, their press buy, it was very nice, but the suspension and the tires I wasn't too happy with. And just speaking to Chris then, he says the same, that he's not happy with those stock tires and the suspension is a little bit bouncy, which is, you know, what KTEC told me. There's a lot of rebound on these standard. So it'll be interesting to see what he thinks to this with the suspension changes. I know this is going to be a bit more flighty than the two. This is not as stable as the two. So it's quite hard to compare, but this is more of an aggressive feeling bike, I think, than the two is. The two's smoothed out a little bit. This poor chap's about to be bloggered. <laughs> So to look at, the two is actually not that different apart from the headlights. Most of the rest of it, apart from the colour scheme, you know, the black frame, is actually quite similar. TFT dash on it, of course, and this is slightly different because there's no key, because it's keyless. One goes in, there's a bit fatter where it's got the, the keyless module, my flip under there. Well, yeah, I got it, mate. Huh? Hey, don't need that extra weight! Oh, this feels different. It's bouncier. I say you noticed? It's a lot taller. Taller than this, really? Well, maybe I'm standing in the hole. It could be, I've just gone down a hole now, so I can't tell. Oh, the Baron Super Juice. This is Super Juice 2. Yeah. Oh, I can tell it's a bit flatter. That initial pickup, you turn the throttle, it doesn't respond quite as quick and it feels heavier definitely feels less agile more effort to change direction that could be the geometry on this that could be due to the wheels yeah i can see it. that initial opening of the throttle is a little bit flatter just to see what the suspension's like Handling is definitely more stable, but that's because it's not changing direction as quickly. Everything else about the riding position feels very similar, actually. It just does. It does feel heavier. It does feel. I worked it out. Someone sent me a list of all the parts and what the stock things weigh, like the mirrors, um, the stock air, you know, air recirc recirculation system, all those stock items which I've removed from mine. All in all, including the wheels, all of the recent additions of the carbon bits, I've removed <laughs> I've removed just over 20 kilos from the bike. So my bike is probably uh, mine's probably 15 kilos lighter because the full this is Chris has already got the full Acropovic on this, so he's already got that's because that saves about six kilos changing the exhaust. Oh I must remember it's got a blip of this. Not as quick as mine. Oh, it's got a blipper though. Oh, I would like a blipper. Because it's more stable. Because it's less... A bit less aggressive, doesn't turn in quite as fast. It makes it easier to ride. Come back, I've got the key! 
I was thinking, I've got to stay with you, I haven't got the key for this, have I? <laughs> what do you reckon there? Nice, mate. It feels... Oh, it's shit, isn't it? I've lost the proper little nipple thing. I've lost my nipple. Have you lost your nipple as well? It's got more of a bath and it feels sort of... The grunt down low is yeah. really nice. The forks feel a lot better. Whether it's the wheels or the suspension, I don't know. I think it's probably a bit of both, I reckon. But it's much sharper when you go on the throttle, isn't it? It's smooth, though. It's yeah, smooth. it's smooth. It's, it's not... smoother than the old bike. Yeah. It's different here. Really? Oh, it could be this is an older seat, it could be more squishy than yours. And it's got more of a, like, I don't know. It's a bit more between your legs. <laughs> maybe I'm just being pushed further. It, yeah, it could be the rear, yeah, the rear what's it pushing. I thought it might be a pig, like a mess. Yeah. With so much shit on it. Yeah, nice. that's always the worry, isn't it? Yeah, pegs feel nicer. Yeah, I thought they felt a bit better. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean now. Bit, yeah, yeah. Bli blipper's nice though. Oh. <laughs> so smooth. Do you want a <laughs> yeah, unnecessary. You don't need yeah, that. I'm quite surprised actually. I thought I know the wheels would have done a lot. Yeah, but, uh, but that that kit. I mean, it, the power curve is so. It's, it, it, yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. It's so nice. And even it's an absolute wheelie machine because it's not peaky. It comes up progressively. Yeah. It's not. It's, yeah, you, it's can, you can. You feel confident to hop. This is quite peaky, actually. Yeah, is it? Yeah. You feel confident to like. Oh, it's going to be fine. Yeah. It's going to be fine. I'll, I'll, the wheel will come up when you're going around the corner. But it's like it's all right. I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That that will come up and it will because it pulls quite hard. It will come up a bit earlier maybe, and you can yeah. sit without revving it as much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone who says I hate GS is tries one and they buy one. Yeah. I don't try one. I don't try one because. I don't want to buy one. <laughs> I might like it a bit too much. Yeah, I'd buy mine. Oh, I don't want it. I might like it though. <laughs> I might be buying one. Has it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. They're all out tonight. I'm so happy with this now. Riding Chris's bike just confirms how good this is now. I was always worried I might have a go on a two and think, oh. I need a two, but honestly, with the suspension, the wheels, this is just so nice now. Yeah, okay, it's missing, the electronics aren't as good, so I have to turn my electronics off completely if I want to do that. <laughs> but the whole bike, it feels the same. Overall, the seat there, the position, the bar position, everything, just riding it, if I were to shut my eyes, while riding, which I don't recommend, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Full Akropovich glory in stereo. I'm looking forward to getting the standard wheels on just to see how much of the handling improvements and the, the feel of the bike is due to the wheels. Because I've done obviously the suspension mods and everything at the same time, it's hard to know which is making the most difference. So stock wheels on and we'll try again Whoa. <laughs> I was also worried that the wheels might make it too ridiculous too uncontrollable but they don't these Rosso 2s though Rosso 2s seem really nice I have to say fully bedded in now gorgeous Look how straight this is! Jesus! This is... Oh, God, he's off! Oh, yeah! Is there one more? One more! Oh, yeah! <sighs> Jesus Christ! Oh, this is interesting! Oh, oh, oh. 
You alright? Well, just wait a second, just take your time. You hurt anywhere? What's that? Hurt anywhere? It's my pride.